Number 10. An alien ship? Many rumors around strange activity at the South Pole have circulated over the years. Last year, a self-proclaimed researcher and UFO expert from Argentina named Marcelo Irasusta shared satellite images of what looked like a dark, out-of-place structure against the Antarctic ice. Located on top of a hill, the strange formation is over 330 feet long, and it looks unnatural based on its shape, which is made up of a series of lines and curves. Conspiracy theorists pointed out that the structure seems to even emit artificial light. American ufologist Scott Waring suggested that the bizarre building was an alien spaceship. He even went as far as pointing out which parts of it he thought were the cockpit, wings, and engine compartments. Based on the color of the object, he surmised that it was probably made of metal. Many online were quick to believe these claims. But why would you want to? Isn't it kind of scary if there is a crashed alien spaceship? Or is that something you would love to hear? Let me know in the comments! Many people argue that there is a reason why world governments have made Antarctica off-limits, and only certain people can go to certain areas of scientific research. Besides it being freezing cold, extremely dangerous, and hard to get to, there is also an international accord where countries agree to share the icy continent and preserve the environment by protecting it from prying humans as much as possible, and limiting access to scientists and other highly trained professionals. But this comes across as a sorry excuse to some people, who argue that there are so many anomalies and mysterious structures, there must be more going on under the Antarctic ice than anybody can even imagine. There are even former Navy SEALs that have come forward claiming that they have found entire networks of tunnels under the ice, with green glowing halls and carved with mysterious hieroglyphics. Is there a lost civilization down there? Or perhaps even aliens? Number 9. Prehistoric Civilizations When Antarctica was part of the supercontinent Gondwana, it was located much further north than it is now. It wasn't until around 25 million years ago that the Chile continent broke free from Gondwana and moved down. Before then, the climate in Antarctica was much warmer than it is now, because of its location at a higher latitude, and because the Earth in general had a much warmer climate. During that time, it was home to a flourishing temperate rainforest, much like those that exist in New Zealand today, full of all kinds of plants and animals. Scientists discovered evidence of the rainforest beneath the ice in 2017, painting a much different picture of Antarctica than the barren, frozen wasteland we know it as today. Knowing that plant and animal life used to exist there, some people began to scour satellite images for evidence of a past human civilization on the continent. And in several cases, they pointed out what looked like ancient ruins. As convincing as some of the images are, experts argue that there is no scientific evidence whatsoever of people ever having lived on Antarctica until modern times. What may look like the crumbling ruins of old buildings can pretty easily be explained away as natural formations. Plus, humans didn't even exist yet when the continent was warmer and more hospitable. But many people think that the scientific community and the government are lying and that they are hiding the details of past human life on Antarctica from us. Otherwise, why would there be a medieval castle and UFOs and tunnels over there? For scientists, there isn't. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Number 8. Lost Continents In 2018, German scientists published a study showing that East Antarctica is made up of the cores of past continents, or cratons. Speaking with Live Science, geoscientist and study leader Jörg Ebbing explained that it's linked to the breakup of the supercontinent Gondwana and shows Antarctica's connection to the surrounding continents. He added that Antarctica is a bit of a blank spot on the geological map due to its remoteness and because it's covered in ice. Using advanced technology, Ebbing and his team mapped the continent using gravity measurements, which enabled them to calculate changes in the topography. They also looked at the Antarctic surface beneath the ice at the bedrock level. The findings show that East Antarctica's ancient cratons are more complex than researchers previously thought. There are also several regions called orogens, which originated when previous continents smashed into each other and created mountain ranges. Turns out there's entire continents underneath Antarctica. Number 7. Atlantis There are many varying theories about past human life on Antarctica. One claims that the continent was ice-free as recently as 12,000 years ago, around the end of the last ice age. 
and that people may have lived there during that time. Some people even think that the so-called lost civilization of Atlantis may have been on Antarctica and we've been looking in the wrong place this whole time. These rumors of a hidden city have been circulating for years, meaning believers have had plenty of time to come up with evidence to back up their claims. For example, Antarctica was officially discovered in 1820, according to historical records. But a map created 300 years earlier, in 1513, by a cartographer named Piri Reis, appears to show the Antarctic coastline. He already knew there was something there. But how? To make things even weirder, the frigid continent appears green on the map, with no ice cap. This makes no sense, since according to our knowledge, Antarctica has been covered in ice for at least 15 million years. Is it possible that the experts have got it wrong, and that there were more recent ice-free periods there? Or that people made it to Antarctica sooner than we realize? Perhaps an ancient civilization with the skills to navigate the world's oceans? Maybe the people of Atlantis? It sure seemed plausible when a video surfaced in 2016, claiming to show remnants of ancient ruins on Antarctica, although the footage was never verified. A relatively recent prehistoric settlement is an exciting thought, but not one backed by science. Researchers not only deny that people ever lived on Antarctica, most mainstream scholars believe that Atlantis was a mythical place. In other words, it never really existed in the first place. So even less on Antarctica. Number 6. Base 22 In addition to entertaining the possibility of an ancient settlement existing on Antarctica, some people believe that the continent once hosted a top-secret Nazi base the size of a small city. Known simply as Base 22, or New Berlin, the fort was supposedly used by the Germans and the Illuminati. Crazy, right? But wait, there's more! Some people believe that the Nazis encountered alien technology at the site, or that they somehow contacted extraterrestrials and gained knowledge that enabled them to manufacture super weapons. That's why they were so obsessed with the occult and made such advances in technology and engineering. According to some, the base still exists and is still being used by the Nazis, the Illuminati, and their alien helpers who plan to jointly launch a new world order. Researchers have admittedly discovered evidence of a World War II-era German presence near the Antarctic Circle. In the years leading up to the war, Hitler commissioned an expedition to the Southern Ocean in search of whale oil. By producing their own alternative to oil and fat-based imports, the Nazis would be prepared to keep Germany fed if they were cut off from trading with the countries they normally got those products from. During the secretive mission, the Germans conducted an array of scientific tests on a vast and unexplored region of Antarctica. But officially, they didn't build a base there. In fact, Germany's first Antarctic base wasn't established until 1981, and there is no evidence that they were associated with the Illuminati or with aliens. And now for some very controversial pyramids. But first, I want to give a big shout out to Christopher Trafnick and Oliver F. Rupert. Thanks so much for watching and being a part of the Origins Explained family. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe before you go for more videos about mysterious discoveries. Number 5. Pyramids In recent years, images of seemingly man-made pyramid-like structures in Antarctica's Ellsworth mountain range have gone viral, sparking rumors that humans built the formations over 100 million years ago. Measuring roughly 4,000 feet tall, the so-called pyramids are around 10 times the height of the Great Pyramid of Giza. These claims appear to have originated on a website called Earth, We Are One. To back up its argument about an ancient society building the structures, the site referenced a photo taken in 1935 and touted a wildly flawed interpretation of Antarctica's geological history. Iwau cited legitimate scientific findings of past plant and bacterial life on the continent as evidence that humans could have once lived there. But the wildlife that once existed on Antarctica predated the first humans by millions of years. And we definitely weren't around 100 million years ago when the Antarctic pyramids were allegedly built. Geologist Eric Rignot helped put the rumors to rest in a life science interview. He explained that pyramid-like mountains are a common feature of glacial regions, and that they are often the product of multiple ice sheets converging. In other words, just as Rignot put it, this is just a mountain that looks like a pyramid. But many are just not convinced. It's just too perfect. Number 4. Doomsday Glacier 
Antarctica's Thwaites Glacier covers an area roughly the size of Florida. In 2020, a team of scientists from the International Thwaites Glacier Collaboration performed a series of important tests in the rarely visited remote region. They traveled to the point where the ice meets the land, known as the grounding line, and they ventured into an area where few scientists have ever been before. During their two-month stay, they collected samples and data from what's considered one of Antarctica's most hazardous glaciers. Using a hot water drill, the team drilled through over 2,300 feet of ice. They used a high-tech robot to gather important information that was previously unavailable to scientists. The findings reveal that the amount of meltwater flowing from the Thwaites Glacier has nearly doubled in the last 30 years. By studying the dynamics of this rapidly changing environment, experts hope to better understand what to expect in the future when it comes to rising sea levels. Dr. Keith Nichols, an oceanographer with the British Antarctic Survey, explained that warm ocean waters are eroding many of West Antarctica's glaciers and that the Thwaites Glacier is a particular area of concern. Their biggest fear is that the warm water seeping into the glacier will cause it to retreat and collapse. At this point, the detrimental effects of climate change are apparent in many ways, and most experts agree that even with our best efforts to perform damage control, things will inevitably worsen. But there is a large number of people who don't take climate change seriously or who don't believe it's really happening, period, making this a very controversial discovery. Number 3. Cave Entrance In late 2019, Google Earth enthusiasts called attention to what looked like a previously unidentified cave entrance on a remote Antarctic island. The opening reportedly first appeared on Greenwich Island in 2007. Six months after the discovery was made, the alleged cave door disappeared from Google Earth, further fueling suspicions that the government was hiding a secret. Conspiracy theories spread like wildfire. Some believe that the cave is a top-secret military base, while others see it as evidence of a lost ancient civilization. Perhaps the most outrageous idea is that the secretive portal leads to a so-called hollow Earth. Regardless of what it is, Avid conspiracy theorists think that the authorities are trying to hide it at all costs. When the images first circulated, the cave measured 249 feet wide and 74 feet high, leading some to speculate that it could house hundreds or even thousands of people. Blake and Brett Cousins, co-hosts of the Third Face from the Moon YouTube channel, speculated that perhaps a natural event, such as a snowslide or climate change, exposed and or covered up the cave. They also suggested that a rock formation outside the entrance is a man-made staircase. Scientists haven't exactly come forward to explain what's at the site, but the story eventually died down and it hasn't resurfaced in news headlines since then. Number 2. Future Plants Around 90 million years ago, during the age of the dinosaurs, West Antarctica was a lush temperate rainforest, standing in stark contrast to its current barren and frozen conditions. At the time, the continent didn't have nearly as much ice. With an annual mean temperature of around 54 degrees Fahrenheit, wildlife thrived, even through the four months of total darkness that continues to plague Antarctica every year. The world was experiencing its most rapid and extreme climate change over the past 140 million years. Because we are currently going through alarmingly rapid change, Experts are exploring the possibility that plants and insects could once again flourish in Antarctica. Speaking with the New Zealand-based publication Stuff, Antarctic ecosystems expert Ian Hawes explained that the warmest parts of Antarctica are starting to merge with the coldest parts of the sub-Antarctic, where a diverse variety of mosses, lichens, and flowering plants can be found. As global temperatures rise, organisms have a better chance of surviving the journey to the continent. Haas said to expect plants and small invertebrates from sub-Antarctic climates to appear there first. He believes that rodents may eventually make their way to Antarctica, although this probably won't happen for a long time. Some fish and crabs are already migrating southward toward Antarctica. As the climate there slowly becomes more hospitable to outsiders, it threatens to snuff out rare and fragile organisms found nowhere else on Earth. Scientists are still discovering new habitats throughout Antarctica, and they worry that the life forms in these environments will be wiped out before we ever even knew about them. Number 1. Martian Mineral Earlier this year, scientists announced the discovery of a rare mineral called gerocyte beneath the Antarctic ice. 
The thing is that jerosite comes from Mars and is rarely seen on Earth. It's yellow-brown in color and requires both water and acidic conditions to form. And it's common on Mars, even though the planet's current conditions are not conducive to its formation. Scientists have long wondered how jerosite became so abundant on the red planet. Some experts believe that Mars was once covered in ice, making it possible for the mineral to form in the distant past. The recently discovered presence of jerosite in Antarctica could help support this theory. Jerosite typically occurs on Earth when mining waste is exposed to rain and air. It also forms near volcano vents. The team that discovered it never expected to find it. Much to their surprise, they detected traces of it in the deepest layers of a mile-long ice core they extracted. The researchers determined that the particles formed within ice pockets, indicating that the jerosite on Mars could have originated the same way. This is just one of several ways that scientists have used the Antarctic environment to study space in recent years. The conditions there are closer to mimicking the Martian environment than anywhere else in the world, and researchers are taking advantage of the opportunity to make these connections. Thanks for watching! What do you think is going on in Antarctica? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. See you next time! Bye!